craggy, snow-packed peaks cast icy shadows over fertile valleys. Raging rapids slash through sparkling granite shores dotted with tall pine trees. Sapphire skies complement expansive verdant grasslands. A silent streak interrupts the landscape with saturated riverbanks rich with ruddy clay. These are the Cimarron regions of America and the inspiration for Cimarron cigars. So I thought I'd open up with that intro. Hopefully that painted a nice little landscape picture of this beautiful place, um, the Cimarron region, of course, which I personally have never seen, but again, using this lovely description, I'm you know, kind of imagining you know, what that must look like. So I had the chance during IPCPR to sit down with Ramses. He is amazing. Um, he's, he's just a cool person to sit down and talk to. Of course, they're with El Artista, or he's the man behind El Artista Cigars out of the Dominican Republic. They're responsible for Big Papi Cigars. You guys, have, uh, they were featured in my calendar last year and just a great lineup. They have a, a lovely collection of cigars. So again, had the chance to sit down with Mr. Ram Rodriguez and he was telling the story about how, I believe he said when he was in college, he visited uh, or he was going to school out there or something. I kind of am um, forgetting a little bit of the details except for the fact that this made quite the impression on him, you know, this particular region where he said that he'd go smoke cigars and, you know, hang out with friends and they'd visit this area. And of course, that's the inspiration behind this particular uh, cigar um, lineup. So we have the different, the contrasting actually wrapper. So this one that I'm going to be reviewing today is the beautiful Maduro. It's a Mexican San Andres as opposed to um, the other in the lineup, which is the Ecuadorian Connecticut shade. Naturally, I gravitate towards the Mexican San Andres. Those of you who know me, it's just what's right up my palate. So got that sweet profile, a little bit of spice in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this one up and talk to you guys a little bit more about this particular stick. It does come in three different sizes. It comes in a 54 by five, a 50 by six, and then a 60 by six. So. Again, those of you who like the larger ring gauges, there is a 60 out there for you. And I like the band because it has that nice, you know, complement, complementing green color that you would imagine this lush greenery and, you know, just a very nice, simple, but elegant. And of course, I mentioned the wrapper. The binder itself is Dominican Negrito, and then the filler is Dominican, Colombian, and U.S. Mm. I love it when right away it hits you with that nice little sweet. There's something about the Mexican San Andres in particular that has that rustic sweetness. It's kind of like a mixture of earthy. You get a little bit of spice in it and you get that nice kind of cocoa, not crazy sweet, but more of the dark chocolate cocoa type of sweetness. But it's a great combination and it hits you right away on this one. It's like that first initial puff. Very nice aroma, beautiful amount of smoke output. And the exterior of this cigar, the wrapper itself has just the right amount of oil sheen to it. So it's not one of those that looks like it's been slicked down in oil, but there's just a hint of it, very natural, just that beautiful leaf component, um, again, to the wrapper itself, so very nice. And again, it sticks with that true combination of a little bit of a spice, kind of a red chili pepper uh, powder, if you will. So if you have like that 
like if you're cooking, I always go back to cooking. So if you're cooking when you have like that red chili powder, it kind of has that type of spiciness to it, spiciness, can't even talk today. And then you have a little bit, again, of that kind of rustic, earthy, sweet, all of those components in um, just this first little bit. So uh, of course, I'm gonna continue to smoke this down, take my time with it and check back in with you towards the second third to talk about the flavors. So coming back for the second third on the Cimarron Maduro, excellent. Um, at this moment, the flavors are a nice combination. You still get a little bit of the that rustic, earthy, sweet kind of, not super sweet, but uh, dark chocolate type of uh, sweetness. Um, so not that real sugary, but just those type of notes of like that typical dark chocolate. You get a little bit of that, but now you have, you've had an introduction around, um, right in the beginning of the second third actually, of an anise and a little hint of a, almost a spearmint. There's still that angle of uh, spice. In fact, the spice has picked up quite a bit around this time. More of the red chili still. It's just not, not the black peppers at all. I'm getting just straight chili pepper, red chili powder, that kind of, uh, note uh, i guess you could say so really good um, great combination of those flavors they may sound off the bat like they might not mesh together but in fact they do and i'm enjoying it quite a bit and gonna continue to uh, smoke it down a little bit more and of course check back in with you one last time for the final third so coming down to the final third here on the cimarron maduro Definitely the sweet spot. In fact, I was smoking this and I was like, man, I've smoked this before in another cigar. And it, it had the same feeling of like this, it's like a molasses type of texture, but a spiciness to it. But it's the same exact sensation and the same flavoring that you get when you, if you've ever smoked a Fuente Añejo Shark, it's, like this final little third reminded me exactly of that one. So I don't know, I don't know, I can't explain it. Um, I don't even think it's using the same types of tobacco. It's just this something in it had that same exact type of notation um, in that final third. So really good, uh, good combination again on that spice. Not a ton of different transition towards this final third. Again, oh, I already mentioned that what it reminded me of, but it also had like the spice kind of toned down slightly, but you still feel it. Um, definitely a medium plus uh, on the strength, but nothing overpowering, just a, a nice, you know, full type of uh, satisfying stick. So definitely one I would recommend, especially for the price point. I believe these start out at like seven and change. So like 725 or 750, depending on where you buy them, but really good on the price point. I, today I was smoking the six by 50, I forgot to mention that. So definitely for me, that's right in the, the range of the sizes that I prefer. Again, there are a couple other different Vitolas out there for you if you like something a little bit shorter or the little bit larger ring gauges, um, but definitely a, a good stick. I think this would be my favorite in their lineup. I hate to jump out there and say that because I like to treat all my cigars fair. But I think out of the LRT Salina, this one just might be my new favorite. So definitely a good stick, made well, didn't have any issues with the burn, consistent throughout, but really nice on the flavor profile. Um, definitely one I would recommend. So as always, I thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out and I can't wait to see you next time. Cheers. <music>